Yeah, it's kind of interesting how it all came about. I was uh, grew up in England. Uh, my parents suggested it was time to look for a part-time job at the age of 14. And it just so happened, uh, somebody my mom worked with, her husband was the area manager of a uh, butcher chain in the UK. That was my Saturday job. Pretty well uh, started off right off. My name's Rob Brady. I'm the proud owner of Brady's Meat and Deli, located in Waterloo. We've had the store here for 19 years this fall. Started in 1999. Uh, I had family that lived at Emigrate here, and I came with my parents when I was very young just to visit and fell in love with the place. Came back with a friend in 1989, just touring across the country, and I knew this was the place for me. Yeah, so I spent six months here, and during that time I met my, my wife, and uh, the rest is history. Back then it was a lot different, we're talking 1984 and I worked in a shop with about 10 butchers on hand and it was all swinging beef, breaking down sides, whole lambs, sides of pork, uh, making our own sausage. So it was a bit, the trade has changed a lot since then but it was all done in-house in, in the uh, store. After my apprenticeship I should say I went to work with two brothers who were doing something very similar to me so I learned a lot from them and one thing I did learn was how they were very involved and I like to be hands-on and I think my staff respect that and it goes a long way that we all work together. I'm not just, you know, the big guy running the business. Brady's is about quality. When I started the business in 1999, my main focus was quality. I wanted to be known for quality meats. I knew there was a lot of people out there looking in this area for top quality and that's what we're known for and we've always been since day one and that's always been my uh, goal was to serve the best product available. I would say too, it's more than just the meat, it's kind of like that really nice feeling where people come in and we know who they are and they know who we are, they are able to ask questions. The small butcher shops are definitely, there's not as many of us around now but it's important that that face behind the counter is there and has the knowledge. So I guess people, a lot of people look at me as kind of a chef too, even though I'm not. Definitely not a chef, but I do love to cook. And, and being in the business this long, I've been able to, over the years, learn from good chefs and just from practicing myself. I use the broiler king keg, and it's my go-to grill. I absolutely love it. The biggest thing I love about the keg is when I want to do something long and slow. So if I have a, a day where I don't have to be anywhere, a Sunday, there's nothing better than getting up early in the morning with a brisket or a pork shoulder, setting the, setting the smoke up at 6 a.m. and just enjoying the day, being around the Royal King keg. You know, so it's, it's just a quality product. And I've had my keg for a long time and it's still working amazing. So that's important if you're going to be buying quality meat, you got to use a quality grill. We still have a lot of people that cook during winter time too, myself included. And again, if you're going to be grilling in a, in a really sub-zero temperatures, you better have a good barbecue, right? So that's another reason why, you know, uh, Broil King would definitely fit into, into that because when it's minus 25 outside, it's got to be there for you for that reason. Well, I've always worked Saturdays uh, since I was 14, so, but now it's just part of who I am. So it was important to me that we take time out. So we're not a seven day a week. We have Sunday, Mondays off. Monday's my favorite day of the week. Everybody's gone and I get to do what I want to do. I've always been interested in photography and it's brought me closer to nature. I've been, in, been lucky enough to do a couple of good trips, do some wildlife photography. And that's definitely my favorite pastime if I do have time to do it, yeah. I guess, uh, I guess my artistic side is, uh, is my photography, it comes out and it shows in my job as well with my meat. And I hear a lot, a lot of times that people say, you know, I talk to my butcher and people are like, oh, you have a butcher? I'm pretty proud to, to be known as people's personal butcher and it's a, it's a good feeling. <laughs>